I just watched The Babysitter and The Babysitter 2. Killer Queen. And I enjoyed them. Great movies. Funny movies. I love comedy horror. I know I'm late to the game, but I have a toddler, so I don't get to watch very often um, things that aren't, you know, bluey, uh, eyed bods, um, lippy, uh, you know, things like that. Um, oh, I do love bluey, though. Bluey's awesome. So I got bluey distracted. Now, the reason why I want to talk to you about the Queen Bee, the sequel, is... I think there's a guardian angel in the film and if you want to avoid spoilers stop and come back later and then subscribe and click like and all that fun stuff even if you don't like it do it out of spite for other people who hate me because i'm a nice guy mostly all right the, what i want to talk to you about is dr big carl mcmanus he's the nurse he's also the school shrink and a few other things, according to the movie. The reason I want to talk to you about him is because I think he is the opposite end of the demonic entities. I think he is an angelic presence in the movie. And there's a reason for that. The reason being is because of the gas station attendant, the super hot one that convinces our main character, Cole, to go after the girl who probably shouldn't be going after again these are spoilers but and sells him some condoms and she says the following magnum xls is the tiffany's box of condoms now we fast forward ahead to the end of the movie where he's defeated all the bad guys and he's got the girl and he's got confidence now and he's doing great and the good Dr. Carl says this. You Magnum XL wearing mother. The exact brand and the exact size of the condoms sold. Now think about it. Would Cole had ruined his innocence had he not had the condoms? And think about when we first meet the good doctor, nurse, counselor. He's already trying to push Cole towards getting laid. Because as you find out in the movie, had he simply had sex to begin with, his problems would be over. It's actually kind of the reverse of most horror films. Most horror films, usually when your teens are going at it, then some guy in a weird mask and or burnt face will carve them up. This one, if you go at it, you're not innocent, your blood's no good. So how does Carl know the brand or why would he use that brand name and size when referencing it? I mean, I'm sure Cole could have said, hey, I bought these, but he doesn't seem like the type of character to mention the type of condoms he bought. Matter of fact, if I remember right, I might be wrong. I think he, the doctor even guesses that he had sex. He got some pussy, didn't he? So this did not come up in conversation. So you have a situation where you have one character sells our hero the product that he needs to win today another character just mystically knows about it i think they're the same person just different forms a guardian angel so that's it um if you will like subscribe if you're watching us on TikTok, follow comment do all the things you're supposed to do because honestly i'm getting a kick out of the comments i've been getting uh also if you have a different theory you think i'm wrong let me know